from cars and computers to home appliances, apparel and shoes. The global shipping crisis is expected to bring high prices to a wide range of businesses. Paul Bender, CEO of game publisher Greater Than Games, has designed and distributed board games online for more than a decade. His business depends on manufacturing in China. 2020 was a good year for Bender, with so many people sheltering in place, the board game industry sales skyrocketed. But he says that it has been harder to keep up production in 2021, because getting game parts shipped from China is more difficult. Uh, if we we're going to get a 40-foot cargo container from, say, the port of Shanghai or the port of Shenzhen to kind of in southern China, wherever they're coming from in China, to St. Louis, Missouri, where we're located, um, about a year ago, it was maybe $6,000 for a cargo container all in, and it would maybe take four to six weeks. Now, we're getting quoted prices that are around $25,000 per container, and it is taking months and months with not a lot of clarity about how long it's going to take. Bender says the higher shipping prices are forcing him to raise his prices. Many other businesses are in the same situation. Experts say the higher shipping costs are due to cargo container shortage in China. Some of the Chinese containers held in U.S. or other ports around the world have been waiting for months to be unloaded. There's the problem. We don't have enough truck drivers. <laughs> Why is that? Because last year, uh, many truck drivers, well, there's no business. So they switched to work for Amazon because Amazon is growing like crazy. So once they shift, they don't want to go back because it's just too complicated. Another reason are factory shutdowns in Asia. The demand goes up, but the supply went down. Why it went down? Because in Asia, uh, because of uh, vaccination, the vaccine is not widely available. In Malaysia, in Vietnam, in China, they, they just don't have enough. So as a result, the Delta variants. When they, when they are COVID cases, they may have to quarantine. Sometimes the factories may need to close. As production fell, online sales of apparel, computers and other products rose dramatically since the start of the pandemic. Experts say over-reliance on Chinese imports is at the root of the global shipping crisis. In mid-October, U.S. President Joe Biden announced that the country's largest ports in California will work around the clock to clear 500,000 cargo containers. But experts say more needs to be done at the local level for the plan to work. Even if things are moving off of the boats faster, if the warehouses are only operating the same number of hours, how's that product going to get processed? Alternative transportation methods also cannot solve the problem, says Paul Bender. Some companies have been talking about doing uh, air freight for stuff, you know, have an airplane bring it over instead of a cargo ship, which is a lot quicker, but it is very expensive, very, very expensive. And that's also had cost increases for how much it costs. So it's not really doable. With the holiday season just a few weeks away, experts say shoppers are likely to see higher prices and longer delivery times. Karina Befredjian for VOA News, Washington.